Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk. I'm we're on location at Rec Bar A12 in Southern Indiana today, reviewing Batman 66 by Stern Pinball today. Please look for a written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There you'll find all of our written metrics, what our thoughts are, as well as please subscribe. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, Batman 66. What is there not to like about this? Plunger straight up to a kick out. Flipper gap is not too bad on this game, as you can see already. Traditional layout, you have your end lane left right, exit lane left right. That lane uh, going around with the question mark can go all the way out to a kicker to the back of the play field. Ramp, which is metal, left, goes all the way left habit trail, left end lane. Not too shabby. Ramp to the center, habit trails to your right end lane. You got targets going up the left side of your play field. I'm digging this game. Already. You got your Batman TV to the center. Spells Joker. You hit it. It'll rotate. Go to your bat phone. You have your Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 to the center with your modes. Catwoman, the Joker, the Penguin, the Riddler. Not too shabby. Obviously, as you can tell, there's different areas of the playfield which can light up. Uh, the Riddler, the Penguin, and so forth. You have a scoop to the right side, which says the Penguin. That it's a kick out that will kick it to your right habit trail, right in line. Right there. Do it again. There's your lane that goes all the way around. It just did not catch that kick out to the back. And so now the phone is actually active over there. As you can see, the, the the cinema on this game is very nice. It's what you would expect from a classic game like this. The art package is clip art, and it's actually not too bad. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of clip art, but there's certain points in time where clip art looks really good. I think they pulled it off on this game with clip art. The soundtrack is what you would expect from the original Batman. Sounds phenomenal. Playfield art looks great. Code is actually really fun on this game. A lot of people enjoy it. I would shake this game, but that would throw off the play field, so that will throw my camera off. You have a magnet to the middle of the game as well. It'll spin that ball around and shoot it right back at you. And as you can tell, you have your columns to the top right with some pop bumpers. Moderate to light high difficulty on this game. The reason why I say that is very stacked to the back. So the flow is there to the left, the middle, and the right. You have some stacking to the middle, which you have your bad phone and it spins around. That adds a difficulty layer to it. Of course, hitting that exact shot right past that magnet where it says Joker. Right there. Of course, we have the penguin, so a penguin is lit. There we go. So now the magnet has been engaged. And this I love on Batman 66. Obviously, this is very reminiscent of the Dark Knight Batman Stern. Okay, so you obviously have the rail. You have the ball to the center. And then you obviously have to hit the ball to go ahead and engage the penguin on this. So I love that. That is one of the things that drew me to the Dark Knight, uh, the original Stern. And uh, it's still one of my favorite games. Top 10 for me, absolutely, without a doubt. And on Batman 66, they integrated that into this. And this is the premium edition. Wow. And that is a sell point for the premium all day long on this game. Is the integration of that rail with ball and it moves around so you can hit your targets. Replayability on Batman 66 is very high. This is a game that is moderate to light high difficulty. So obviously with that being said, you're gonna be able to get a, quite a higher replayability out of this game. So a little bit longer term play. Fun factor of this is awesome. As you notice going up your right or left lane, you can also complete the orbit on that. But I love the fact that they have that, that moving target on this game.
So as you notice, we went in through the bat phone area. Almost completed all those. There we go. Oh, well, that might not work out very good. That ball got stuck in there. Look at that. Who would have thought? How would that have happened, right? I mean, only with my luck on location is that ball going to get stuck right there. Who would have thought? Anyway, this game delivers. Batman 66 by Stern Pinball. This is, I mean, to us, to us, this is absolutely without a doubt a high nine table. Uh, we rate games that, that, that score very highly occasionally, but Batman 66 is almost perfect. I mean, hell, we rated Turtles a nine and a half. We rated Deadpool a nine six ish. This game right here is loaded. It's got the shots, it's got integration, it's got almost everything you could possibly think of on this game. So this will be about, about a 9.8. It's almost damn near perfect, pardon my French. Some would say it is perfect, actually. But a 9.8, we stick to that all day long. Very fun game. And when we rate 9.8, what we mean by that is it delivers across the board. I mean, obviously, it has the code, it has it has the cinemagraphics, it has the animations, it has the callouts, it has the music, it has the feel, it has the nostalgia, it has the shots, it has the flow. And it's also got the difficulty, which allows it to be played for longer periods of time. Absolutely fun game, 9.8, man. I mean, who else has said 9.8 on this game? I'll tell you what, this is almost this is almost perfect. Anyway, please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There you'll find all of our metrics and why we feel this is a 9.8 game. Uh, but other than that, thank you again for watching today. Till next time, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guys, signing off.